Hi YouTube, Spencer here from BMP Conversions. So I just sort of do a little video just to uh, give you a brief description on what parts you will need to replace if you decide to do a rocker cover gasket on a BMW November 20, so that's an N20 engine. They're fitted to the BMW F10 5 Series, uh, the Z4s, the 3 Series, and I just thought I would give you uh, a good idea of what needs to be replaced um, and this is on BMW's say-so, uh, isn't my say-so. Uh, when we've come to do the job, BMW have actually recommended that we do these certain parts because there's a, a high risk of um, the car catching fire if you don't do these parts. So, first of all, we want to do or replace this rocker cover gasket. We notice that there's leaks coming from the gasket and uh, there's oil running down the cylinders which were down here. So you can see this area here is like a, a cordoned off plastic area. This is an aluminium housing which holds the uh, spark plugs and injector. And there's oil weeping from the rocker cover gasket down into these areas causing, uh, could cause misfires. It wasn't causing misfires at the time, but it could cause misfires in the future if the, if the oil leak got worse. So it's the same on the back of the engine. Again, a cordoned off sort of area in the rubber gasket and the Rocker cover, gas, uh, rocker cover gasket itself. So we decided to, we're going to take, uh, you know, take action and, and do the gasket before it causes any sort of misfires or, or any adverse engine running. So first of all, we rang BMW, uh, said to them, we want to do a uh, rocker cover gasket. Can you supply us with a gasket? Said, yes, no problem. So uh, this is the part number for the, the rocker cover gasket set. So the bottom gasket set. Um, now forget about the hose, the hose that we ordered was this radiator hose off the bottom of the expansion tank. So we noticed that every time we wiggled that hose, the o-ring had gone flat in, in the hose itself. BMW have made those o-rings a special size, so you can't actually fit aftermarket o-rings in there, so we had to buy the entire hose to stop the water leak. But the rocker cover gasket that is the part number for the BMW genuine part number. This is a BMW invoice. And you can see that was 3181. So that is plus fat. Um, so that is that part of it. Then BMW uh, parts technician said that whenever they do a rocker cover gasket in their main dealer, um, they actually find uh, that their parts, uh, their, their service guys are actually ordering these parts as well. And this again is on BMW Say So. BMW uh, states in their repair manuals that you must re replace these certain parts whilst repairing. And that's because this, uh, this engine runs a, a high pressured fuel system. <clears throat> so the injectors themselves are basically bolted into the engine uh, cylinder exactly like a diesel and its direct uh, injection. So this injector, these injectors are injecting right next to the spark plugs. You get an instant combustion. Um, the fuel is still a vapor as it's injected. So it's injected under high pressure straight into the cylinder itself, right next to the spark plug. The air isn't actually pulling the fuel down like it used to when you inject it into the, the inlet manifold. So with this, if you want to take the rocker cover off itself, you actually have to remove this fuel rail, which is, you know, these Torx bolts here, Torx bolts there, and undo all these injector nuts. So you can remove the fuel rail like that. BMW said to me that every time you remove the fuel rail, it's actually a one-time use only part. So if you remove that rail, you actually have to buy a brand new one straight away. On some of the one series, I noticed that uh, the fuel rail itself has got separate nuts at this end as well. So you used to be able to just buy the pipe, but BMW have now stopped that, gone from uh, putting a nut at this end and made them welded in. So you now have to buy the entire rail. The entire rail comes with a new rail sensor as well. So you can imagine that is quite expensive. These are the parts that you'll have to buy on the high pressured fuel system. So you have to buy the fuel rail with its sensor you have to buy the feed to the rail from the high pressure pump and you have to buy the the the, right, the the feed to the high pressure pump from the rubber hose that comes from the, the pump in the tank. So these three items are a must if you're going to do a rocker cover gasket. Those items come to, well I'll show you the part numbers first. 
those are the part numbers for the actual uh, fuel rail system. <coughs> and uh, that is the place including that. Obviously I get some sort of discount with that, you may not. The other thing that uh, we've come across when doing the job is uh, we were unaware, uh, this is one of the, the first ones we've worked on, but we were unaware that we had to have the camshaft, there's a piston that sits inside the rocker cover, so directly underneath this, this is the high pressure pump. So I've made a video on this previously, but this is the high pressure pump, so the fuel comes from the tank via a fuel pump into this pump. This pump is then mechanical, driven by the engine, so every rotation of the engine, that pump gets squashed twice. <clears throat> so this pump is then building the pressure up to a high pressure, that is then sent to the fuel rail, and the, the pressure is maintained throughout the rail all the time, and then each injector is fed with high pressure fuel, and the injection ECU pulse is controlled, you know, um, it's controlled by the ECU. So we end up with a, a high pressured fuel system on a petrol, and obviously BMW are saying that we need to replace all these stainless steel tubes, because if they leak, any one of them leak, they're going to leak high pressure fuel directly in where the coil is. So it can cause uh, combustion, it can cause the car to catch, to catch fire. So we were unaware that this camshaft, um, the height of this camshaft. So basically, uh, there's a piston inside there driven off this camshaft itself. Every uh, one rotation, it does two pumps of the engine. What you need to do is turn the actual engine itself until you see the piston drop down to bottom dead centre. And you'll see this because this is, is actually sat in a cylinder and the cylinder is nicely silver, you know, so it's, it's a nice silver machined piece. So you'll watch the piston go up and down as you turn the engine. So without the pump fitted, turn the engine and you'll see the piston go up and down. That piston wants to be a bottom dead centre. We made the mistake of fitting it in uh, just off bottom or near top. And what actually happened was it put more pressure on this centre pump spring than it should have and what that done is that tried to bend this centre shaft sideways as we were bolting it down because it was under pressure. So we, even though we went half a turn each time bolted it down evenly, what actually happened was it broke the centre pump shaft of the actual high pressure pump, snapped that clean in half and it then gave us low pressure fault codes. So we end up having to renew the high pressure pump as well as the fuel lines and the rocker cover gasket. So that's a mistake not to make. I've made a separate video on that. Do not make that mistake. Um, make sure your pump is, or your pump piston, the part that sits against this face. So the camshaft has a, a piston sat on it. The part that sits against this face is at bottom dead center. All right. The, um, the, uh, to, to, to do the rocker cover gasket, it's normal, um, you know, it's like any other BMW. Once you've removed the fuel system, you've removed your high pressure pump, you've unplugged your injectors, you have to unplug the coils. I lifted the coils out as well so we could clean in the coil cavities. Um, you'll find that your rocker cover has all the bolts all the way around. Unbolt all your bolts all the way around. And then you'll find that it doesn't want to lift. The reason it doesn't want to lift is because you've got to take these out. So these sensors out, you have to and bolt them from the front, remove them out of the actual rocker cover itself. And again, a bad design on BMW's behalf, but there's a vacuum pump on the back of the engine driven by this camshaft. And what that vacuum pump does is that goes in after the rocker cover's on. So as you'll look at the rocker cover, you'll look at the back of the engine, you'll see the vac pump. You have to physically unbolt the vac pump, which there's three bolts that hold the vac pump in, unbolt the vac pump, slide that out of the cam, uh, um, camshaft, out of the cylinder head, and then you'll find that your rocker cover will come upwards. Do not try to force this rocker cover because the plastic part of the rocker cover actually goes down and under the vac pump. So the vac pump is holding the rocker cover down. So even though you get loose at the front, do not force or try and lift this rocker cover until you've removed the vacuum pump. The rocker cover will then come straight out. You'll be able to renew all your, your O-rings, your gaskets, and then refit everything back. But 
I just wanted to make a video uh, if you're going to do this DIY yourself or try and attempt uh, resealing the gaskets on this engine it is pretty simple it is pretty straightforward um, but just follow those procedures drop this turn the engine so you can turn the engine always turn it clockwise and you can turn the engine till this this part that sits against this is at bottom dead center watch it go down so you watch it you'll watch that go down that's the position you want replace your fuel lines if you're doing a rocket cover you won't have to replace your fuel pump there is a uh, an updated part number for this fuel pump if you end up having an accident um, so the fuel pump part number is 0261520148 um, they basically updated from the 148 on the end to 147 all right so that's the new part number uh, I mean, I'm telling you that because we had to order a pump and the car the parts company sent us three different pumps before we actually got the correct one so that's the correct part number to get the pump straight away first time off the bat all right so uh, as usual um, you know it is like it is it is quite simple it is a normal job to do it isn't difficult at all it's just be aware that you're going to have to spend a lot of money replacing the fuel system so the fuel system right back to the rubber hose just just over there and you'll uh, you do your rocket cover gasket as well do not force the cover up because it's under the vac pump so you have to remove the vac pump first and then um, I would do the spark plugs. Lastly, I would do the spark plugs while I was there. That way you've never got to interfere with this side of the engine or, or that, that again. So I hope this helps. Um, part number's there. And uh, to give you some idea of cost as well. Labour involved. Um, I would say three to four hours work. Uh, by the time you've got everything off and put everything back on. Uh, cleared any fault codes that you may have got. The other thing to just pay attention to is every time, uh, we notice as well, uh, every time you open the door, the fuel system squirts petrol out. So put a bit of tissue down there uh, just to catch the fuel, and uh, yeah, away you go. So uh, hopefully um, that helped you. Uh, if, uh, if it does, give us a, a like, a thumbs up, perhaps subscribe, and the next video is coming soon.